Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a new floor plan from Fleetwood. This is an entry level class A that has a bunk area, but also doubles as a second entertainment area. This is the 2024 Fleetwood Flair model 33B6. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Flair and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Before we start the video, I wanna tell you about two RV shows. First, November 9th through the 12th in Tampa, Florida is the Tampa RV Fall Show. I personally will not be there this year, but General RV will be there this year. So if you guys attend the show and you see an RV that you like wanna buy, make sure you ask for Matt's cash so we give you the best price in America. But then the same day, November 11th, which is Saturday, I will be in Huntley, Illinois at the General RV. So if you live in Chicago or around the Illinois area, make sure you guys visit me. I'm doing a meet and greet big sale at the Huntley, Illinois store. We're gonna have a free food truck, amazing sale prices and everything. Can't wait to see you guys in Huntley, Illinois. And I'm sorry I missed everybody at the Tampa show, but we are gonna have phenomenal prices at both locations and online. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. Whenever a manufacturer comes out with something new, it's really exciting. Whether it's a new brand, or in this case, a new floor plan, I love seeing innovation in the RV industry. Before, I, before we show everybody, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good. I'm glad to be here in Wixom. It's beautiful weather. And Matt, you said it was a new floor plan? Yes! Have I not seen this? Nope. Oh, wow. I am super excited, everybody. America hasn't seen it either. So without further ado, Andrea, let's begin. Model is 33B6, Fleetwood Flare. The actual tip tip length is 34 feet, 7 inches. This is the Fleetwood Flare. This is their entry level Class A gas motorhome, but it's still Fleetwood motorhome. So you know it's going to be good quality. Right up front here, we do have a nice big windshield right here. Fiberglass exteriors, no full body paint and you do have these LED lights right here. When you come on down, we do have chrome mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Frameless windows. This isn't something that you see on a normal, quote, entry-level motorhome. I don't want people to think this is entry-level. It's Fleetwood's entry-level, you know what I'm saying? But it has a lot of higher-end features because it's Fleetwood, and you're gonna see that throughout this review. It does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Drea. They're the Continentals. 245-70R, 19.5. And then coming on down, you're gonna see a nice power awning with LED lights. Again, huge frameless windows on this motorhome. And then look at how big this is. Huge exterior, Sansui TV with sound bar, with power and USB for the outside. I love this feature. Coming on down here, we got a little bit of storage. You will see that these are slam latch doors, not the twisty doors. Right here, we got some storage there. A little bit of pass through. Yes, ma'am. Coming on down, we do have your propane tanks here. And a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill for the outside. And then Miss Jen, bing, if you could please put all the specs about this motorhome right there for everybody who's watching on television. Coming on down. We got some storage there, very nice. And then some storage here. Okay, that's good storage. Yes, ma'am. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a nice bumper for the stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome, no. 8,000 pound hitch. Now I'm not saying you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you must know before you tow. And you know how you know before you tow? You take your GVWR and, or your GCWR and you subtract it from your GVWR, and that's how you know. Ladder to get up on the roof. It is a one-piece TPO roof, and there is a backup camera right there. Coming around to the other side, we do have our city water connection here. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Black tank flush. Nice instant hot tankless water heater. I do appreciate the decals. And then right there, that's where your generator is. 
And then Andrea, right here we do have a uh, fuel fill up. Right here, 50 amp power cord, auto transfer switch right there. Very nice. Coming on down, outdoor shower. And then here is where you dump your black and gray tank. Also, you have a water filtration right there. Okay. Coming on down, we have a little bit more storage and a little bit more storage. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the insides look even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, I didn't even get that. You're going too fast for me. Take a look at the inside. Yes. Cargo carry capacity, 5,075 pounds. Wow, that's a lot for this. Ooh, I'm seeing some, some changes in here. Okay, I'm gonna walk up here. We do have the uh, slide in, but as you can see, you know, it's good walkway. I'm not having any problems. Opens up a lot right here. You can definitely open the fridge. Um, it gets a little tight here where the bunks are, but it's doable. Um, there is the bathroom and the master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. Yes. And Andrea, while we get these slide outs open, let's give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, it is officially summertime. The sun's out, guns out, and it is absolutely hot. That's why I'm bringing you this special message from our friends at rvmatches.com. The one thing that's worse than having a warmer camper or hot summer days is having an uncomfortable night's sleep when you're tossing and turning. Our friends at rvmatches.com, they make the absolute best mattresses for their RVs. The Aurora Lux mattress, which is the mattress, mattress that we have, has this cooling fiber technology, which is scientifically proven to keep the mattress cool so you're not going to be tossing and turning all night you're going to get a cool night's sleep it's absolutely amazing it was one of my favorite features about having a mattress from rvmattress.com guys rvmattress.com makes mattresses specifically for rvs they get shipped to your house and their factory is based out of arizona so you know it is kick button awesome if you guys want to get a new mattress for your rv click my link down below and use promo code matt to get 25 percent off your purchase big shout outs to rvmatches.com for sponsoring this awesome video stay cool this summer y'all let's continue the video all right andrea what do you think this is spacious and nice and I love this interior design, especially for the bunk bed area because they do something really different. Can't wait to show everybody. But first, we are starting up here. Ford F53 cockpit area. I'm loving this. Uh, cup holder right here. We do have our lights and everything. Very nice steering wheel. And then right there, we do have our auto leveling, air conditioning controls, and everything. Right up here, here's where you take a look at your camera. You got your radio there. And then we have cup holders here, also with USB right there. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's actually very comfortable. Um, both these seats do swivel. There is a pedestal table that would go there. And you know, I love that there is a workstation here. Yes. So you have this, um, also goes in. I have a cup holder here. Well, not only that, you gotta pull off the tabletop as well. Wait, yeah. <laughs> very Sorry. nice. But it's nice that you have that, you know, to put stuff in. Yes. Okay, and then um, we got some storage above. Let's see. All right. You didn't talk about the doggy window. Oh, because. Says for my Yuna. I forgot, Jen. Insert Yoko. No. Bing. Bing. Yuna, Yuna, please insert Yuna. Oh, people want to see Yoko. No, we, you, we, you we, have we, to share, Matt. Nope, it's a dog's world. Oh my goodness. Show that storage for us. Very nice. Okay, and then one more here. And on these sides, you also have those little cubbies there on each side. Yes, ma'am. And then above the cockpit area, we do have a bunk over the cab. And it does hold 500 pounds. Let me see if the key's in here. It does have a ladder that comes with and it. And it is not. Okay. Give me a second. Let me see if the key's on this. Because if it is, we will drop it down for America. One key to rule them all. <laughs> Just like this. That bunk over the cab holds 600 pounds, and it's a very thin mattress up there, 
but it get, makes it so you have more head space. Here, that's good enough. It makes it so you have more head space when you're going down the road. And then um, it does go all the way up just like that. And then over here, Andrea, let's take a look at these balances while that's coming up. Check out these balances, Fleetwood balances, but Fleetwood's entry level balances. Andrea. Approved, ding! It doesn't matter if it's the American Eagle all the way down to the Fleetwood Flair. Andrea loves the interior designs of these Fleetwoods. Right here we have very nice storage here and storage here. Big storage. I mean, the color schemes, again, guys, this is their price point unit and they still just knock it out of the park. MCD privacy blind, not a daytime blind. Little, little tabletop right here. And we got a sofa. This sofa does jackknife down to make a bed. I like it because three people can seat on this. Um, a lot of people are digging the theater seats right now. You know, I, I definitely don't mind this. I don't need to be lounging. I'd rather have more practical space. And I am looking directly across at the TV right there. Take a look at that. TV above the dinette with two windows on both sides. A little bit of a tighter dinette, Andrea. It does drop down to make a bed. You got your cup holders here, and it's nice. It's not the most comfortable. It's not the least comfortable. And then... There is storage on that side. Power and USB on this side. On this side. On, yeah. And then storage on this side. Okay. It's pretty good storage. Yes, ma'am. Show us this kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. We have a nice cabinet here with adjustable shelves. Yes. Um, I like the backsplash. They okay. did a good job with that. Lots of counter space. Uh, we got a microwave here. Yes. And then we have, let's see. A, oh, look at that. Yeah, a little That's bit of storage nice. there. That's not storage. I'm um, not storage. Uh, That's like an extension of the countertop. Yeah, or in the storage. Board. Yes. And then we've got three drawers. Okay. And a bigger one down here. Wow. Then we got a three burner um, propane cooktop. I don't even know what this is. Dometic. Oh, Dometic. Okay. And you get an oven, which is nice. Nice oven. There's a drawer down here. And then over here, you've got some frosted cabinetry. Okay. Adjustable shelves. They give you a little window in here. Got another cabinet with adjustable shelves. Yes. They give you a double sink here. Okay. Extension. And then under, wow, look at that. That is a lot. Um, really good amounts of storage in this kitchen area. Yeah, and in case you don't have enough counter space, you have this here. Love that. Love how it's an easy flip up and out of the way. Yes. As Andrea struggles with that, because she always does. <laughs> I do want to show you this artwork here. It's very art deco. And then show us what's going on in this fridge. Okay, we got the Insignia refrigerator here. Yes. Good size. Very good size. Underneath, there is a drawer. And then thank goodness that you get a pantry in here because a lot of times with bunks, you don't. So right. That's pretty This one's awesome. giving you the nice big fridge yes. with, with the pantry, so that's very nice. All right, Matt. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here is $197,509. Andrea, MSRP. We're with General RV, which means we're going to advertise this for the lowest that we are allowed to advertise it for the year 2024, which is 25% off MSRP, to a sale price of $148,995. But Andrea, I know our viewers can get a little bit of a better price than that. So if you guys are interested in this motorhome or any motorhome in the country, please go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. I will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Andrea. You ready to see these bunks? Uh, I see it. I can't wait to show it. First and foremost, we got the top bunk right here. It does come with a little ladder. There's also a ladder for the bunk over the cab here. Really nice power. Uh, top bunk only holds 200 pounds. You got a window with a nice balance and everything. Here's what I'm liking. Yes. This flips up. Well, one, it has a pole here. 
So I bet you you could make this into a, a wardrobe. Um, into a wardrobe. But this is what I'm liking, Andrea. The fact that well, you got power there, but the fact that you actually have a little sofa here, a little game chair, a little entertainment center, nice little cup holders. This does jackknife down to make an extra bed. But I can see us having a motorhome like this. Me chilling right here. Well, I don't play video games, but... Bella would. Yeah, Bella sitting here playing video games while we're out in the living room. And I'm looking directly across at this little TV right here. This is very, very nice. And it's not just for kids. I'm an adult and I, I'm totally comfortable. I have no problem sitting here. It's low enough to be low, but I don't feel like I'm sitting on the ground. So it's very nice. We got some storage right there. Possible shelves. Yes. More storage there. And then let's check out this bathroom. All right. So first. Oh my goodness. Kind That's of have a big a step big up. Big step up. It, it sure is, Andrea. Um, but right here we have a decent sized shower. Nice glass door, plenty of head height here. And here's something that I love. It does have the shower miser system. The shower miser is something that will heat up your water without burning through your water. That's important for people who like to go boondocking. Over here, we have storage right there. Nice oh. storage there. Yeah. Adjustable shelves is always good. Yes. And then a very nice sink. Storage. <clears throat> storage there. There's a lot of storage in here. Nice sink right there. And oh, liquefied! Our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle right now. Porcelain toilet. Hmm. I'm sitting a little elevated, but I'll try it. I'm going to give it to an entry-level Class A motorhome. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. I'm not surprised, Matt. It's a Fleetwood. Well, Fleetwoods don't... Fleetwoods do an amazing job on their interiors, but they're not always prime poop positions. We do have a very nice sliding pocket door right Look there. Look at the entryway in here. Yes. Right over here. Wardrobe. Go to mounts. TV, Samsung. Wow. You know what? I love all the drawers. Adjustable shelves in there, other side of the wardrobe. Yes. I love this. Look at all these drawers. So nice. Nine. Nine these are drawers. good size. Show that one too. These are really good size drawers yes, too. Let me show this one. Yeah. Then you want to know what else is a really good size, Andrea? King size bed. Fantastic. Let me show everybody this first. There is storage underneath the bed. A lot okay. of storage. King size bed. I'm loving this. Right there, we do have uh, two end tables. We Looks got like there's power and USB in that radio control a there. there and some storage down here. Yes. And then storage above there. Same on the other side. Big storage above. Yes. Sound system and everything. Speakers and everything, Andrea. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time that we give you three things that we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we dislike about it first. First? Yes. Okay, my first one's outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me is going to be these outside hookups. One, I really wish all of this was enclosed. E even though it's more entry level, uh, with it all being enclosed, I would have liked that a lot better. Um, but not only that, I hate this access door for the generator. It's such a pain in the butt to access your generator in case something goes wrong. It's really it's really tough to work with this style of door. For me, that's a big personal dislike. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Okay, that's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Okay, number two for me is going to be, I don't know. Out here, it seems pretty bright, but back there, it seems so dark to me. Okay. Um. I felt it right away when I came in. Maybe I'm just losing it. I don't know, but I feel like it's dark back there. Totally understand, Andre. That's number two. And then number three for me is going to be just like a personal dislike. I don't like this dinette, Andre. It just felt really tight for me. Um, definitely not the most comfortable dinette I've ever been in. Definitely not the most least comfortable, but for me, I'm just not a fan. That is dislike number three. 
Well, Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this unit. Would you like to go first? Sure. Talk to me. Sorry. What I like about this is all the seating. Talk to me. I love this. This is a family motor home. It obviously has bunks for kids. You have those chairs. You have here. You have here. And, you know, you got like a little futon back there. Love it. So I love how that bunk area does yes, do the seating area. Plenty, plenty to entertain. Great. That's life number one. Andrea, life number two, I think what we have to say is all the storage in here. The seating's fantastic. And not only that, the fact that you're getting tons of storage here, great storage on the exterior, an actual pantry, all those drawers and everything. Everything about this motorhome, this is a small motorhome, but it still packs a major punch. Also, that cargo carrying capacity being 5,000 pounds, that's huge, especially if you have a lot of people in a big family. Yes. That's number two. And then, Andre, what's like number three? Number three. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I will say I am really surprised with all the counter space in here. It's a really good kitchen for a corner kitchen. Yes, I'm not fond of corner kitchens. I don't know what it is, but I actually like this one. Yes, not only that, nice backsplash. Yes. Not only that, I'm going to combo it because it's America with that king-size bed in the rear. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in this Fleetwood or any Fleetwood RV, please go to generalrv.com slash Cash. I've linked it in the YouTube description below. Our team, I promise you guys, if you're watching this video and you tell them you watch Matt's RV reviews by clicking my link, they will get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Especially with this being a new floor plan, Fleetwood wants to know what you guys have to think. Um, did I say that right? Yep. Okay. I feel like I didn't. Anyways, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.